Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So find the standard equation of an ellipse that satisfies the given conditions. So we have this given, the foci and the length of major axis. So first we need to graph this ellipse using the given. So from the foci, this one is x and this one is y. So x is positive 5, so positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then y is positive 2, so positive 1, then positive 2. So this is now the coordinate of the focus. Then the other one, this one is x, and this one is y. So x is negative 3, negative 1 negative 2, negative 3, then y is positive 2. So this one is the other coordinate of the focus. Then observe that focus is in horizontal position. So therefore, this ellipse is in horizontal form. So the formula for the horizontal ellipse, we have x, minus h then to the power 2 over a squared is the denominator of x squared then plus y minus k to the power 2 over b squared equals 1. So this is the formula we're going to use to find the standard equation of this ellipse but since center is h and k so we need to locate first the center of this ellipse. So to find the center, since center is the midpoint of foci, so we need to find the midpoint of this foci. So first we need to compute the distance between the two focus. So from this point to this point, so we're going to use the counting method and in counting you start counting on the next point. So from these points we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the distance between the two focus is equal to 8. Then to locate the midpoint divide this 8 by 2. So 8 divided by 2, this one is 4. So therefore, we need to count 4 to find the center of this ellipse. So in counting, the same counting, start counting on the next point. So count 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, this is now the coordinate of the center of this ellipse. Then to find the coordinate of the center, so we have x, that's equal to positive 1, so x is positive 1. Then y, y is positive 2, so the coordinate of the center is 1 and 2. So therefore, h is equal to 1 and k is equal to 2. Then to solve for A, since we have this given major axis and half of the major axis, so major axis divide by 2, that's equal to A. Since major axis is 24, so 24 divide by 2, so therefore A is equal to 12. Then to solve for B, we have this center to co-vertex but since we don't have co-vertex so therefore we cannot solve for B using the given so we need to solve C first so to solve for C that center to focus then from the graph so we have the center and focus so therefore C is equal to 1 2 3 4 so c is equal to 4. Since we have now the values of a and c, so we can solve now this b using this formula that uh, c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared 
then substitute now the values so c is 4 so therefore 4 squared is equal to a squared a is 12 so 12 squared minus b squared then simplify so this 4 squared is 16 equals 12 squared this one is 144 then minus b squared then to make this uh, negative b squared positive so transpose so this becomes positive b squared equals 144 then transpose this 16 becomes negative 16 so b squared is equal to 144 minus 16 this one is 128 then to solve for b take the square root so therefore b is equal to square root of 128 since we have now all the values the h the k the a and the b so we can solve now the standard equation of this ellipse using this formula so we have now the standard equation of ellipse so from this formula so we have x minus h but h is positive 1 so therefore minus 1 then to the power 2 over a squared a is 12 so 12 squared then plus y minus k k is positive 2 so therefore minus 2 then to the power 2 over b squared so b that's square root of 1 2 8 then squared equals 1 then simplify so we have now x minus 1 to the power 2 over 12 squared is 144 then plus y minus 2 to the power 2 over this square root of 1 to 8 to the power 2 so just omit the radical that's 1 to 8 then equals 1 so this is now the standard equation of this ellipse